After Mercury and Venus, the third planet is our Earth, our home. Earth is the third planet from the Sun and the only planet which supports life, on which life can sustain. About 29.2% of Earth's surface is land, consisting of continents and islands. The remaining 70.8% is covered with water, mostly by oceans, seas, gulfs and other salt water bodies, but also by lakes, rivers and other fresh water, which together constitute the hydrosphere. Earth's atmosphere consists mostly of nitrogen and oxygen. More solar energy is received by tropical regions than polar regions and is redistributed by atmospheric and ocean circulations. Greenhouse gases also play an important role in regulating the surface temperature. Earth's gravity interacts with other objects in space, especially the Moon, which is Earth's only natural satellite. Earth orbits around the Sun in about 365.25 days. Earth's axis of rotation is tilted with respect to its orbital plane, producing seasons on Earth. The gravitational interaction between Earth and the Moon causes tides. According to radiometric dating estimation and other evidence, Earth formed over 4.5 billion years ago. Within the first billion years of Earth's history, life appeared in the oceans and began to affect Earth's atmosphere and surface, leading to the proliferation of anaerobic and later aerobic organisms. Chemical reactions led to the first self-replicating molecules about 4 billion years ago, a half billion years later, the last common ancestor of all current life arose. The evolution of photosynthesis allowed the sun's energy to be harvested directly by life forms. The resultant molecular oxygen, O2, accumulated in the atmosphere and due to interaction with ultraviolet solar radiations, formed a protective ozone layer in the upper atmosphere. Earth orbits the Sun at an average distance of about 150 million kilometers every 365.25 mean solar days. The axial tilt of Earth is approximately 23.43 degree with the axis of its orbit plane always pointing towards the celestial poles. Earth has a natural satellite, the Moon. The Moon is a relatively large terrestrial planet like natural satellite, with a diameter about one quarter of Earth. It is the largest moon in the solar system relative to the size of its planet, although Charon is, the l is larger relative to dwarf planet Pluto. The gravitational attraction between Earth and the Moon causes tides on Earth. The same effect on the Moon has led to its tidal locking. Its rotation period is the same as the time it takes to orbit Earth. As a result, it always presents the same face to the planet. As the Moon orbits the Earth, different parts of its face are eliminated by the Sun, leading to the lunar phases. The distance of Earth from the Sun as well as its orbital eccentricity, rate of rotation, axial tilt, geological history, sustaining atmosphere and magnetic field all contribute to the current climate conditions at the surface. Earth provides liquid water, an environment where complex organic molecules can assemble and interact, and sufficient energy to sustain metabolism. Plants can take up nutrients from the atmosphere, soil and water. These nutrients are constantly recycled between these different species. The first human to orbit Earth was Yuri Gagarin on 12 April 1961. We know a little bit, but there is a lot more to explore.
thank you very much for watching the video. If you want some more videos like this, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Till then, take care, bye-bye, stay home, stay safe.